Welcome back to Mass Appeal. More than 135,000 people in Western Massachusetts face hunger. That's one in every eight residents. Well, we're going to try to fix that because the next month, the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts, they will bike for food and they want you to do the same. And Megan Pete is here to tell us a little bit more about the event. That's shocking, one in eight people. You figure if you look out your house, there's one in eight people who you're seeing right around you. The numbers are staggering, and it's one of those things where it's not like people are wearing signs saying, hey, look at me, I don't have enough money to be able to provide for my family. So it's, a, it's an issue that's real here in Massachusetts, and that's what the food bank's here to do, is make sure everyone has access to food. I think people don't even think about that, because their neighbors, you could think they're well off, you know, they have a nice house, but it, that, that doesn't mean they can put food on the table. The people that we're seeing nowadays relying on the emergency food network are not... There's no stereotype to it. We're seeing a lot of working families who just don't have enough to make ends meet. So what you're going to do is you're going to raise a lot of money at Will Bike for Food. It's a tremendous event. Tell us a little bit about it. On Sunday, September 29th, we have four routes with one destination, a hunger-free community. And we're really excited. This is going to be a stellar year. We're hoping to raise $50,000 or that will provide 150,000 meals to people in need throughout western Massachusetts. Now, there, it is 100 miles. There's one of 100 miles, but it's, there's one for 10 miles. There's yes. one for uh, 25. There's 50. There's so many options. And, I mean, I can bike 10 miles, and I'm, I'm not in good shape. So I, all, everybody out there, they can bike, and they can really help. Yes, and it is a fundraising event. And what's wonderful is for every dollar raised to support this benefit, $9 worth of food is able to be distributed. So we are able to really stretch every dollar raised. And if people register before this Thursday, there is an early bird uh, waiver, I guess, for $175 as opposed to the regular $250 minimum to, to raise. I was thinking about that $250 minimum to raise. If you really think about it and you look at some of the other walks, and something like the Pan Mass Challenge, you have to raise a lot more money for those. This is affordable and manageable, and you can make a sizable dent in hunger in our community. Very true. Very true. And we wanted to make this um, accessible to everyone. So like you said, we've got the four different routes. The 10-mile route is beautiful and flat. We made it as flat as possible. Good. <laughs> um, around Hatfield. And then the 100-mile ride is something that's a good, a good push for folks who are a little bit more into cycling. Take us through that ride a little bit because I can only imagine it's late September, leaves are starting to turn slightly. It must be the most gorgeous ride. Where does it start? Where does it finish? Uh, start and stop is at the food bank. So not only do you get to uh, ride around Hatfield and up into Franklin County, but you'll be able to see the food bank itself. We will be taking people on tours when you come back from the ride. We also have food. Uh, we have beer for the after party. We have, lot, we have music. So there's a big celebration because we want the community to come together and celebrate that people have truly made a difference. And you really have. So once again, tell people how they can get involved in the event. If they go onto our website at foodbankwma.org, you will see on the front page information about the bike event, learn how to register, get your friends involved, form a team, or ride by yourself. We'll have maps on there as well so you can check out the routes ahead of time. You can see all the different sponsors that we have. We have so far over 17 te corporate teams that have registered. So you'll also be able to see others throughout the community who care about hunger, who care about cycling, and just want to make a difference. I, I know sometimes I harp on this fact, but I always find it fascinating. People, you know, you can always donate your, your excess canned goods, but it's money that you folks fly with. Once again, if people donate one dollar, you don't even have to go to the race, just donate a dollar, and you turn that and you stretch it into nine dollars worth of food. Exactly. Exactly. A can can go far, but a dollar can go a lot further. We'll bike for food. It's going to be a great event. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. And I'm going to toss to Ashley.